Am I in the pumps backwards or is he in the pumps backwards? It's me, isn't it? Usually the main pump would be on the driver's side, but at these pumps it doesn't say which direction to come in by. Sometimes they say like exit only, enter only this one. I've seen people load like fueling this way and fueling that way. I think it's okay. <laughs> We're in Pillager, Minnesota. That's not some big, busy truck stop. There's not very much going on here. And uh, these pumps, I've talked to them here before. It doesn't matter which direction you come from. Uh, it works out better when, I guess, everybody comes from the same direction. But since there's not very much activity here, there's never a lineup or anything. So uh, I guess it'll work out for today. Just grabbing some fuel here, and then we're going to head back up to Kenora, Ontario. Grab another one of those loads. Things must be a little slow right now. Oh, and this truck is dirty. I don't even want to show you it. I don't even want to show you it. Don't look. Avert your eyes. Okay. Took a little bit of time, but we got our orders for today. We have an empty flatbed behind us, like you saw. Just grab fuel here, so we're full of juice. All paperwork is handed in and in order. We're going back to Kenora. We're gonna load first thing in the morning, come right back down here, unload tomorrow evening. And then I'm hoping to have a plan tomorrow evening so that I can get moving from here. Uh, it was a long weekend. It was Remembrance Day or Veterans Day, so I was working yesterday, but not a lot of other people were back at home in Canada anyways. It's, uh, it was a stat holiday. So I guess that's why things were a little bit slower today. They're playing a little bit of catch up. That's okay. 100 meters, turn left on, enter County B, and then 210. People are allowed to have holidays. Everybody needs a break, and it's good to take time to reflect on Remembrance Day as well. I hope that's what everybody was doing on their day off. We'll get back to Kenora tonight, probably sleep in that same spot that we slept in last night. Too bad I can't tell the future, because if I would have known this, I would have gone back yesterday already. I would have been able to get loaded today. But then again, my load is only scheduled to get loaded tomorrow, so I probably would have had to wait anyways. I don't know. I don't know. But like I said, it was a holiday, so everything sort of gets messed up when there's a four-day week, right? Because everything's got to get squished into those four days that would usually be spread out over five. I'm just glad I was able to work. Cause you know, sometimes uh, like on these uh, stat holidays, whether it be in the US or Canada and everything shuts down and I can't deliver or pick up anywhere. And sometimes I'm forced to shut down. I don't get paid for that holiday. I just have to wait until everybody who is getting paid to be at home <laughs> comes back to work. You give her bud. gonna do the wave to this biker? You gonna do the wave? Yep, he's a real biker. Good. Good.
out today where I can get coffee. I'm not quite ready for another coffee yet, but it's the only place I'll be able to get one before I get to Kenora. We're close to International Falls, Minnesota now. We'll be crossing into Fort Francis, Ontario. I'd like to have one more coffee, if I may. This is the best spot to stop. I'm sure there are other places to stop for coffee once we get into Canada, but nowhere that I can think of with easy truck access. So this will work. I'll let the world know I am off duty. I am going to get coffee for myself. That's gonna be great. Oh, I'm a little tired today. I haven't done much, and I think that's why. The busier the day, the more energy I seem to have. When I have uh, slow days like this, it's kind of like I feel like I'm, I don't know, not getting anywhere, not getting anything done. We were hoping to have a different freight on the trailer today, but, you know, it doesn't always work out. That's trucking, right? Got a whole load of motorcycle doors that I'm taking back up to Kenora. It's a good thing it's not that far. I mean, it's only 300 miles, 500 kilometers, so it's it's not the furthest. And it was my best option, so. I, I'm, I'm putting up my thing wrong here. I always choose the wrong buttons. You gotta line them up properly, and I always mess that up. Why is this one not, what is going on? I just want a coffee. What's going on? My jacket's like opposed to me going in there. <sighs> You know what? Enough. I got enough buttons done. They won't fly open. I'm clothed. That's enough, right? That's enough. Put my shoes on to go outside. Ugh, let's put my hat on. Uh -huh. Actually, you know what? You know what? Where is it? Where is it? Oh. Hey! Wear the bull snot hat today. My two favorite hats, my bull snot hat and my house hat. I alternate them day to day. Speaking of, we gotta do another one of those giveaways real soon, eh? <laughs> Keep your eyes and ears open, we're gonna do a giveaway soon. Just coming up to the border now, I've gotta pay to leave. I still haven't figured out if it's you know, the Canadian side who's making me pay to come home or if it's the American side making me pay to leave. <laughs> it's probably the US side. I'm guessing the bridge is probably American owned. But don't be a total one voice. Turn left on Second Avenue, US 53 and then approaching destination in 470 meters. Like it's almost midnight. Approaching destination in 400 meters. It's only 5:30 in the afternoon. Every year gets me. <laughs> All right, here we gotta pay our toll. They raised their prices again. I think it's 21 dollars now to cross or something. because they're still used. It's a very chaotic border crossing. I'm thinking they're renovating it all, but there's a lot of chaos going on here all the time. Trains going through here, people crossing, got to get over the bridge. The bridge is half under construction. All right, I'll see you guys on the other side. There's not much light around here. Here, I'll turn my lights on so that you can see a little bit out there. We'll head out here. This is where I decided to park tonight. This is a rest area on the side of the road near Kenora, about five minutes away from where I've got a load in the morning. 
parking on both sides, this side and that side. The only problem with this is that a lot of guys, they'll come in here, like that guy over there, those two at the front, and they'll block everybody in. So, <laughs> hopefully they're not staying here overnight, though I wouldn't be surprised if they did. So they're blocking all of these trucks in. That's the driveway, that's the exit out there. They may just be stopping there temporarily to check the tires or something. Uh, hopefully, they're not planning on staying there overnight. You can see it's sort of parked off to one side, blocking one truck in. Uh, but we need that space to be able to get around the other truck that's blocking the driveway. He's like parked in front of the driveway. We're going to take it super wide and we can just barely get around there. I've seen some trucks that have just barely gotten around there. I'm going to continue this video here in the morning so I can sort of show you this rest area. It's a beautiful place. It's a nice place to stop. It's, you got to watch out for the other guys. Some of the other guys around here, make sure they don't block you in, but it is a beautiful place. Kenora is an amazing place. This is where all of the cottages, the cottages, people who own cottages in Winnipeg and Manitoba, they all have cottages out here for the most part in around Kenora or the Ontario border. Beautiful place. So I'll show you it here in the morning. I'm like sleeping right beside a big cliff on this side and uh, going up above me and then a highway on that side over there where I can hear the traffic going by. I can fall asleep to the hum of the tires. So I'll, I'll talk to you first thing in the morning. Sun's coming up. I mean, it's time to get to work. before they even opened the gate. I was like, oh, for sure today. Oh, one second, one second. Who oh is this? God, Josh. I was in the middle of logging here. You wanna be on the log? Sure, I'll be on the log. Hey, um, remember me? <laughs> how long has it been since you've seen Peter in my vlogs? Like about 10 years. 10 years? It's from long Montreal, time. but he's based out of Steinbeck now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, working for the big freight now. Yeah. Yeah. You can find him on TikTok. I follow him on TikTok. What's yeah. your TikTok? I'm a TikToker now. <laughs> yeah. And YouTube as well, right? Or do you do most of this? Yeah, a little bit. Okay. Yeah, because I couldn't get into my old account, so I kind of tried to start another one. It's like, um, oh, do I want to do all this again from zero? Uh, <laughs> so I pretty much I just went to the TikTok now. Okay. What's your uh, what's your handle there? Gone trucking still. <laughs> Gone trucking. I'll leave a link somewhere. You'll find it. Yeah. Peter, that was a nice surprise. He showed up. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was not expecting that. Excuse me. Well, I was not expecting that. He's an old friend. He was one of the very first people that, uh, when I started making videos way back in the day, what was it, like 2014? No, earlier than that. 2011, 2012. Uh, Peter was one of the first guys that I made friends with who also made videos online. He had a uh, a channel based out. He was doing local trucking out in Montreal at the time. And like you heard him say, he got locked out of his channel or forgot his password or something at one point and he hasn't been able to get back in. So he started a new one, but it didn't take off as it was hard to get back into it on a new channel. It would be hard to move everything over onto a different channel. But he started making little short form trucking videos on TikTok. If you guys are on that app, a lot of you are, a lot of you aren't. But if you are, uh, go and search for uh, at gone trucking. At gone trucking. You'll see his stuff there. He's a good, funny guy. And he's got a baby due soon. He's going to be a dad again. So uh, we didn't get that part of the vlog. I stopped vlogging too soon there. But he's on his way home after this trip. So good for him. 
happy for him. There's nothing more exciting and awesome than having a kid. I can finally say that. <laughs> ah, made my day. What a great way to start my day and a great way to end this vlog. We're going to start right here tomorrow. I'm going to be just as cheerful and happy. I'll see you then. Don't forget, when you're out there on the roads, keep your head up. Keep your eyes on the road, please. Keep your stick on the ice. You can figure out what that means. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow.